What's going on guys, Cody here with CJ Bill. Thanks for tuning back into the channel. And guys, today's video is gonna be a follow-up from last week's video where we did the anti-lag on a button. So today, we're gonna show you how to wire it to your wiper switch, pretty much to where when you pull it back to where what usually would be your sprayers for your windshield, it's gonna activate the anti-lag. Your wipers will still work and I'll show you that later in the video, but let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's get this anti-lag wired up. Unlike when we did it for ground, this one we're going to be tapping into the D2 pin. As you can see here, farthest bottom left, going into the D plug, which is for this right one. This is the one that we're gonna send the power source from the wipers. That way it turns on the anti-leg. So let's go ahead and get it wired up and then we'll start testing. All right guys, so when you get this top part off, Eat that over there. You see that white and black one right there? That's the one you're gonna wanna tap into, the white and black one right there. You're gonna wanna cut that wire and then either attach a wire to it and run it directly to your ECU or you can follow it down further, cut it further down and take it to your ECU. For me, it was easier just cutting it right here and then routing it to the ECU. Let's update it from the last video where it was AC request for the ground. Now to the brake switch D2, that is a 12 volt source. Let's go ahead and push it to the car. And now, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So I'm gonna rev it up and then I'm gonna pull this and it should engage anti-lag. Let's see what happens. Alrighty guys, so it works. So right now it's super wet outside because there's just rain. So honestly, I'm probably just gonna clean everything up for tonight. And then tomorrow, hopefully if it doesn't rain, we'll take the car out and do a couple test hits, see how everything works, make sure everything works as a dream. And hopefully it's good. this helps Hopefully this helps you guys be able to set up anti-lag on your car without having, you know, a button thrown around or anything like that. The only thing is you don't have sprayers anymore, but the wipers do still work. I know I had some questions on that before on my Instagram. So the wipers do still work. The only thing that doesn't work is the sprayers, but the wipers do still work all the way up to speed. Just no sprayers. But who needs sprayers when you have anti-lag? All right guys, well we're back in Mexico and today we're gonna be testing the anti-lag with the wiper. Last video we did it on a button. What's going on so if you hop over to parameters come down to launch control you'll see here i have it set on d2 tps based adjustable that's just so i have it so i don't have a fixed rpm where the anti lag engages so i press the button whatever rpm i'm at if it's above five percent it'll engage <clears throat> and i also have it so above 97 percent is when the anti lag is actually working so pretty much an error or not an error but initial i was running into before where by default it's at 50 percent but when it was at 50 percent what i kept running into is that when i would put my foot all the way down to the floor to kind of engage anti like and hold another button it would do it really really slow and it was super ineffective so ever since i bumped it up to around 97 around that number it ended up working way better and it works exactly how i wanted to i Press the button, put the foot to the floor, and it's popping how I like it. And it builds up the boost. And then under rev limits, I have it as ignition cut only, enrichment two, negative six on the static ignition, and then I just have it at 50 milliseconds. If you guys find anything that works a little bit more efficient, feel free to let me know. I'm super down to try it. I'll probably be poking around with it a little bit more. These are just kind of like the early some settings that I did set up that actually worked. 
So if I do find any more updates, I'll probably post a reel or something showing some more efficient settings. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments or on Instagram or whatnot. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Later, homies.